There are no advisories in effect tonight, and things are drying out, but the threat isn't over yet. And right, you can see right here in Hartford County, the slushy mess left behind by the system. And now as the temperatures drop, there's the potential for some refreeze overnight. That is the big concern, which could make the road slippery and dangerous tomorrow morning. Now, some schools in the area, including Hartford and Cecil counties, they've already decided to open two hours late tomorrow. Let's check in with Bob, tracking everything we need Absolutely to know overnight. Absolutely going to be an issue tomorrow morning. Yeah. It's already an issue tonight. Anything that's out there is freezing up there. Well, I'll show you why. The storm we see it now way off to the east, northeast of us. The last lingering bit of snow across the eastern section of New England. As you can see, it moved through Delaware and Jersey earlier this evening. We cleared up around 730, but it's down to 32 to the north of us already. 27 Westminster, Frederick, Hagerstown, 27 Oakland, 22 in Cumberland. Southeast of us still slightly above freezing, but everybody overnight will get down the freezing mark a little lower. Basically, mid-upper 20s suburbs, low 30s in the city, maybe just around the freezing mark in downtown Baltimore. But snow amounts, we had as much, believe it or not, north of us in Manchester and Park in five and five and a half inches. Bel Air about 2.8, Long Green about three, Thurmond about two and a half. Westminster, Northern Carroll, Northern Baltimore County had the most, 4.5 officially at Westminster. The airport picked up about an inch and a half of snow. It's the most snow we've seen so far this year officially at the airport. We'll come back with a look at sunshine and a windy day tomorrow. We'll have the forecast coming up. All right, Bob, thank you. This was rough driving through this afternoon. This afternoon, this crash happened along Providence Road at 695, and you can see that gray car there went right off the road. We know one person suffered minor injuries, and state police urging drivers to use extra caution. They say between noon and 9, they responded to 82 crashes, 37 disabled cars, and 365 calls for service. All right, let's bring in Kelsey Kushner now live with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab in North Baltimore. Kelsey, you've been out all day on the roads. Can you tell us what is looking like out there now. Hey guys, well, we are on one of the roads here in Baltimore City. We're in Elsa Terrace in Medfield. You can see the roads out here. They're still pretty slushy. They still have a lot of snow, a lot of ice out here. Now, the big concern throughout the night is that these roads are slick. I mean, my photographer and I have slid a few times just walking around here. This is the major concern for drivers. You can see this guy here is driving pretty slow because these roads are still wet. The concern is that they're just going to get icy throughout the night as these temperatures drop, but officials Say they do plan on staying out here, making sure these roads are safe. From the city, because it's slippery out there, to the county, it's a little icy conditions. I mean, definitely be careful. The cold temperatures held an icy grip as parts of Maryland experienced their first snowfall of the year. In Baltimore County, snow piled up on cars in Perry Hall. It accumulated pretty quick. In Frederick County, a snow emergency plan was in effect and public schools let out early. In Harford County, restaurant owners felt the impact as many people chose to stay inside. As you can see, uh, you don't need a number to eat here tonight. On highways and interstates, cars carefully navigated the wet roads as the snow turned to a wintry mix. State Highway says they are using infrared technology on 53 of their plow trucks, keeping a close eye on pavement temperatures. So we're able to use that technology in conjunction with our storm managers here and make decisions where to go out and strategically deploy salt. Slick, slippery roads kept Maryland State Police busy. They received 200 calls for service in just two hours. We're prepared to move resources wherever they're needed. Now the attention turns towards the overnight hours as the temperatures drop and potentially freeze the roads. Again, the roads out here are slick. Officials are warning drivers, if you have to leave tonight, take it slow. If you have to leave early tomorrow morning, take it slow. Crews will be out tonight salting the roads as necessary, but they do want drivers to be aware of any slippery spots. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.